Happy Wine Wednesday. Uh, Kevin and Robin here with another fantastic week full of fantastic wine. Yeah, nice to be back at it this week and uh, picked one of my favorite uh, grape varieties to feature this week. So this is going to be an easy one and a fun one. Mm -hmm. 100%. Grenache. I mean, it's really well known in Spain. It's really well known in the south of France and it comes in so many different forms and styles. Yeah. Uh, so we really wanted to showcase everything it has to offer. You hit just about every style too, even the even the really rare tried. sort of uh, <laughs> Grenache rosé, right? The Grenache Gris, which is cool. And a lot of people don't know that Grenache comes in white. So if you haven't had, you've probably had it before. If you drink a little bit of white Cote de Rhone, it's actually a pretty well planted grape in the south of France. But the most exciting one for me in here, just because it's inexpensive, you know me, I'm always on a budget, is that guy right there. Yeah, a little Latito de Sara. So I mean, we've got two whites in the Grenache form. We've got one from the Rhone Valley, and then we've got this guy um, from Spain, which is like a little bit fresher, brighter style of them. Yeah. If you haven't had white Grenache before, it's fun. It's kind of a richer style, right? It's, it's a little more textured. It's not like a lean, acidic wine, so uh, it's not like a Sauvignon Blanc style. It's, it's more like a Pinot Gris style, I mm -hmm. guess would be the best way to describe it. It's a little fleshier, but it's also really aromatic, and you get these really wonderful kind of white peach aromas from it. Like, it's always got that stone fruit character. Not quite as much as Viognier, right? Like, yeah. it's not quite that uh, exotic, but it definitely has, like, a big, bright, like, super fresh style to it. So they're delicious wines, and the most beautiful thing about them is because nobody really knows them, nobody really, you know, follows them that closely, it's great value. 100%. Um, and I always kind of err on like the side of winter whites when I think of white Grenache, just because it does have that little bit of textural component yeah. to it, right? Fall, winter, Which perfect little, fall wine. It's a little oh, chilly out there. Right so. Ooh, how, about we go, how about we get going on these? <laughs> so uh, this week we've got the Lamite Dozan wine. So you might remember these under Chateau Vermitage. They did a little tweak on the label, um, but they didn't do a tweak on the price, I noticed. Still twenty one ninety five. Still one of the best values in the shop. Oh man, I'm going red because I've been drinking this for like ages. <laughs> I'm no, no stranger to that one, but I have not had the 2020 yet in the red. Mm, I did. You're in for a treat. Yeah, I love this wine. I think two of the interesting things they do at uh, Lermite Dozan, number one, they plant a lot of more bed. So where we are right now in the world is we're in the very southern tip of the Rhone Valley. So the town of Nîmes, where Coster de Nîmes comes from, uh, we're just south of that, so we're in a very Provence, sort of um, Mediterranean sort of uh, climate. So really warm, um, but you do have a little bit of that uh, cooling influence, right? Because these guys are pretty close to the Mediterranean Ocean. So it's really sunny, really warm. You get these big, ripe flavors. Think like Chateau de Pop, think Cote de Rhone. These are really similar wines, except what they do here, which is interesting, is a little more Merved. And Merved is really a grape that loves that climate. It really does well in the heat, better than Syrah. And it gives like really generous wines, but not like over the top heavy wines. I think that's the best thing about that one in particular is you're looking at 40% more bed. And when I've seen that in other styles of wine, it does feel a little heavy extracting, like just yeah. a little bit too much for me. Whereas here you've got some slight herbaceousness. It's got that like black fruit, uh, brambly kind of thing going on. Really surprised by this because the last time we had this wine, it was really quite closed when we got it. I remember it took a few months before it really started to show its true colors. But this is just pop and pour right out of the gates. This smells amazing. And you can really smell that more bad, right? To me, it's like a, a ripe raspberry kind of note to it. But the tannins here are just like really round, really in shock. I love this. I'm, I'm, buying, I'm taking one of these home. First sale right there. There you go. I'm having this with dinner tonight. I already know what I'm having for dinner tonight. And it will go perfectly well with this. When in doubt, if you're ever unsure of what mm. to have, drink what Kevin's drinking, because he always picks a good wine. So if that's yeah. going home, you should get it. And I'm always short on dough, so you'll <laughs> always get something that's a good deal. Well, wow, that is fantastic. That's probably the best version that I've had, which isn't a surprise because 2020 was a fantastic vintage in the south of France. So that's a great start. You also got the uh, rosé open this weekend, too. Always. It's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, these guys are all organic, too, on everything, right? Yeah. Certified now. So... If you don't know what that means, when they have the little organic sign on there, all that means is really they're not working with any uh, chemical herbicides, chemical pesticides. These guys don't do any GMO. They're doing everything kind of as naturally as possible, right? So um, they, these guys actually do a lot of work with uh, animals too, right? They've got the, um, I see all the pictures of the, the lamb and the, and the goats in the vineyard, right? Well, they're moving towards the biodynamic side of things, right? Right. So, um, I mean, they've always kind of practiced this way. This is just the first time you're going to see it on their label. Awesome. 
So how much is the pack if people want to jump into a little six pack of Grenache? Six pack of Grenache is going for one twenty nine. Sweet deal. Pretty, you get that on the website? Sweet deal. Yep. Three fantastic reds. Again, all different styles, you know, all the way up to the fuller body, a little bit lighter and fresher. Um, right online, free delivery within Calgary. Um, these are all on the website as well. This is cool. super tasty. Real happy with it right Liking now. Liking that? <laughs> all right. So if you want to pop in this weekend or any time, you can uh, grab these online too if you want to get them delivered. It's always free to your house, so that's easy. But uh, we'll hope to see you down on the weekend when we'll, uh, we'll pop these open and you can try them too. See you soon.